What is up you guys, Nicola Maserati here. Gosh, it has been absolutely insane lately. But I am super excited to tell you guys, I have actually signed up with a fitness coach to do my very first physique competition on August 29th. I'm working with a guy called Tad the Diet Coach and he is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna link his website and Facebook below, that way you guys can go take a look. But it's been absolutely insane lately. I go to the gym at 5.30 in the morning and then I go to the office and then when I get out of the office around 5.30 p.m. I go back to the gym and work out and I usually don't make it home until around 8 so I've been exhausted, it's been crazy. So I apologize for not making videos in the last week but yeah, it's it's been insane so I am glad that I'm here to make this video for you but anyway you guys one of the things that I've been getting asked a lot lately is how I made that door transition that I did in one of my more recent videos when I got my brevity backpack which is absolutely awesome by the way so today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do the door transition <laughs> So before we get into the tutorial, let's take a look at the clip. You guys ready? Let's see. Yeah, I have a delivery for Nicola Maserati. Is this it? All right, well, let's see what we got here. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. But you can apply this to a lot of different things. Uh, it's pretty much just using masking, uh, which we're gonna get into, but um, you can apply it to a bunch of different transitions. If you've ever seen someone that was filming and it goes from a wall and then as that wall starts to show another part as they're coming around, um, it's a completely different scene. So you can apply the same technique to those kind of transitions, which I will show you. Sam Colder recently did a transition like that in his Gymshark video. <laughs> Enough of me yapping on guys, let's get into Premiere. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the point where the door starts to open, where I start to see through the other side of the door. So let's scroll through, let's find that. Let's see, let's go a couple frames. That's about good right there. So I'm gonna cut that there. Then I'm gonna go to the point where I reveal myself. That's that right there. And we're gonna cut that. And we're not gonna worry about this right now. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus just on this part of the clip, this middle run right here where the door starts to open. I'm gonna to go to my effect controls. I'm gonna go down to opacity and the free draw bezier. I'm also gonna start a mask path. I'm gonna click back on the mask and I'm gonna zoom in to 100. And this is where I'm gonna start my mask. I'm gonna start it from the top here. I'm gonna go here, here. Let me scroll down and right there. Right there, and then I'm gonna move that to make life a little easier, and we're gonna connect these. And that's about good there. And as you can see, it's it needs to be inverted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the effect controls, hit inverted, and now we've just inverted that. Now I'm gonna click back down on my clip, and I'm gonna move one frame forward, bring this over so it lines up, bring this over so it lines up there, and this is pretty much the process. See, we're pretty much done here. I'm gonna go back a few frames just to make sure everything looks good. We're gonna bring this back to fit. And I'm going to go forward and backwards a few frames. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Looks pretty darn good to me. So now that we got the mask done, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it right where the door stops moving. So I'm going to cut it right here. Cut out all the middle stuff. So actually what I can do is do this. Bring this clip back. What I'm gonna do is bring down the audio here, bring up the clip that I just had the mask in and insert this in the middle. And now we can kind of have an idea of what it looks like. And there it is. As you can see, there's a little cut at the end where you can tell that the, the door changes. So take a look at the door before and after. Not to mention I have this little thing where the door, where the package kind of goes through the door. So we're gonna solve this problem here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top clip there. We're gonna right click and go to apply default transitions and we're gonna bring it through over there. Just shorten it a little bit. We don't need this for the audio. 
We're gonna take a look at how that looks. Yeah, I have a delivery for Nicola Maserati. Is this it? All right guys, so that was it. So let's get back to my face. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button below. Guys, it really, really helps me when you hit that like button. And uh, I, you know what, I wanna see this transition in action. So if you guys film some stuff, just film something and edit it and put it up on YouTube and then leave a link in the comments. I definitely wanna see what you guys are doing and how you guys are being super creative. And guys, like I always say, if you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. <sighs> you guys ready? Let's see. Yeah, I have a delivery for Nicola Maserati. Is this it? All right. Well. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Hold up.